A snipe came to me, the Native Instruments headquarters in LA, and said, hey, I got this idea for an expansion, which involves um, kind of the works of Puff Daddy with the bad boy, and um, what Jermaine Dupri was doing was so, so deaf. And when, when Snipe broke it down to me, it was a no-brainer. I was like, we gotta jump on this right away. I wanted to make it uh, user-friendly, meaning pro thinking production first, where you can just grab it and start creating instead of having to try to put kits together. So all of the sounds in the pack actually work together sonically, and I laid them out on the, the grid, the 16 pads, to where you can find a combination. For example, if I just pick this sound, those two go together with that sound. And then I have the ghost notes on the one and the five, so you can pick up a ghost note. So if you wanted to create something like Yeah, same thing here. With these expansions, we have uh, a new way of doing expansions, not just for machine. We're also making it available on battery and there's one shots and loops so that um, if you don't have a machine, you can still use them in Ableton, Logic, any DAW basically that you feel comfortable with. Knowing that when we were kind of talking about infamous flow, um, Snipe is a master at layout, which makes sense for people to make beats to and to produce to. A little bit of the brat flavor, here we go. When I'm creating the packs, I'm always thinking of the pack as a book. So when I approached the, the infamous flow pack, I was thinking, okay, most of this stuff was a lot of samples. I don't have a 60 piece orchestra to go and sample this and go and sample that. So I was like, how can I approach this and still give the user the vibe of reaching in a crate and pulling out a record and putting it on a record player and sampling it. So I approached it with a lot of the um, multi, Sample like I played I played a lot of stuff on there and I played bass and live guitar and stuff and made it as a loop and sampled it myself back into it. So it, I'm thinking of it like I found this in a crate, but I actually created it. It makes you feel like you're just like the dopest producer ever because of the everything into yeah it. because I'm a producer first, you know. So I'm thinking about it in the aspect of creating versus the aspect of just listening. <laughs> 